I'm Captain Quinton Brooks. I'm the HHC commander for 1st of the 503rd, 173rd Airborne Brigade. We're here today at Eagle Sokol 21 in Slovenia, Pocek training area. Dog Company is conducting section live fire. Uh, we first start out with a blank fire and then we move into a, a live fire execution uh, where they, they essentially pull up to a firing position with their trucks. Uh, they use a tow missile to fire on an armor target uh, and then advance forward to their objective where they uh, have dismounts come out of their vehicles and conduct a battle drill six on a building, clear that building, and then retrograde from the objective. I think the overall uh, thing that the paratroopers are learning here is how to shoot, move, and communicate with our partner nations. The support from TSC Vicenza has supported our training exercise by providing the products we need to become a lethal force, to train in that lethal force. They provide us with uh, the targetry and the uh, tools to use uh, in order to create a tough and realistic training. This training builds lethality and readiness for my team uh, by providing a, a, a unique area to execute this training in. Uh, typically we go to different areas in Europe to train and this is one that's unique in that it provides us an opportunity to get into the, uh, the, the uh, terrain you can see behind you, the difficult terrain as well as uh, the dense vegetation. Uh, to conduct some of our, our reconnaissance and our mortar fire, uh, as well as our, our section live fire with our dog company. The overall objective of Eagle Sokol has, has a few components to it. Uh, first and foremost is the interoperability training that we get with our Slovenian partners. Uh, secondly, it's the key tasks that we have to train uh, to improve our readiness within our unit to deploy, fight, and win in any location, as well as tough realistic training. COVID affects all training that we do, uh, as, as it has been a year now that uh, we've been dealing with this virus. Uh, it's really the first exercise that we've had uh, multinational attention to uh, as this battalion. Uh, we've had certain mitigating factors in order to make this training a possibility. Uh, we really follow all the simple steps that we, we follow uh, back in garrison. Um, and that's staying within our bubbles. Uh, what that means is Teams, squads, platoons stay together and do not have close interaction with other teams, squads, and platoons. Uh, we take Slovenians, other Slovenians, when we need to work with them uh, and that we limit that interaction and we maintain our spacing with them when we do have to work. We find interesting and, and uh, different ways to get after the training uh, in order to, to meet our requirements to get that, uh, that interoperability.